What is up, people? I am back. I was just broadcasting Rainbow Six Siege. Now I am back for Go. As promised. And guess who wants to play Go with us today? It's Azzy! We'll have to negotiate terms with him. And I dragged myself on the wrong channel. There we go. That's what I meant to do the first Hello? time. Hello? What's up, Azzy? How are you? Not much. I'm... So, have you, oh, have, oh, have, uh, yeah. have you explained to the people how you've quit uh, Dota for good? I'm sure they all want to hear your side of the story before we begin. So what's the sitch? You know what? You I know can what hear you on uh, Discord. I can only hear you on uh, the stream. Why? What? Hold on. That shouldn't happen because I... Whatever, I'll restart Discord. That's not a problem. Yo. Ah, Alex. All right, whatever. I don't know why I would have to restart because I was already working Discord when I was playing with Falcon and uh, the like, but whatever. So, uh, anybody who's watching from Siege, I'll have to refresh. You can get the actual title update and stuff. Otherwise, it'll still say I'm playing Siege. This isn't true. So, Azzy, tell me when you were signed in. So, what are the stakes today? Well, first of squiggles? all, are we playing a handicap game? Can I still get squiggles? Yeah, just less. Sure, I'll, I'll take the handicap. All right, I'll give you as much as a uh, five stone handicap. Five is the most I could probably give you, and still maybe win. Okay, if you I'm take ready. a if you take a five, I'll only give you like a hundred squiggles. But for each handicap less you take, I'll increase it by a hundred squiggles. So if you took no handicap, it would be six hundred squiggles. One hundred squiggles. So 100, 100 base, even if you take a 5-stone handicap. I'm okay with that. So okay. I have to beat you 1,000 times to become one. What's up, uh, Entravix? Am I reading that correctly? Yeah, Entravix, or Entravix, depending how we like to pronounce it. Welcome. So, no handicap. Comey should be custom of 0.5 because it's a handicap game. Um, I'm white because you have to be black and you what well, you want a handicap of five actually yeah it's not my first time playing I just I'm double digit Q so I consider it beginner ish um, I'm a uh, 14 and a half Q roughly so I'll call it 50 because that's what's gonna tell me if I actually like looked at my profile I, I mean new enough I play on and off I played on and off for a couple of years but like total accumulated time is low but, you know, I'm a, I'm a solid 15Q. Like, not a just started 15Q. Like, uh, I've been playing for a while. I could call it intermediate go. for You know, it, it's go for beginners because I'm talking about a lot of uh, content that would be best for people who are newer. I'm playing on a level that's slightly above that because I would call myself, like, an intermediate player. You know, I'm approaching single-digit Q. Slowly. Uh, I will send you the match. I'm just making sure it's all right. As I gave you some extra time on the clock. Um... Handicap 5, custom Comey for me is 0.5. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay, that should be good. <laughs> it just means that um, I've been improving recently in my matches. My, ma my match is so a trend. Um, the match is so a trend towards... Uh, I'll play in a second. Just give me a second. Um, towards getting better in my recent line. You can see that my... Uh, so I didn't play like forever. This is like 2016. I had, like, only a couple matches. It tried to calibrate me. I didn't play until over here in February. Then didn't play again until November. And then I have a bunch of matches that show I took a hit by not playing for so long. And then now I've been improving. So it's a solid lineup. No, no, no. I just meant solid as in it's not, like, a sudden 15Q. It's, like, a progression. As I hit, I went down. And now I'm progressing back up. So I don't think I'm worse than 15Q. But sometimes I also make mistakes. That's why I have a go a go tutor who may show up later. We'll see. I actually should alert him to the fact that I'm playing because he might not be aware. He's not online right now. What's what the nonsense? Yeah, he's my brother, but um I think I have to play aggressive in a game like this to be honest with you. Um, he's my brother, but he's, uh, depending on which, like, on OGS, he should be a, uh, I'll just check, actually. 
He should be a 3 or 4 Q in OGS. 3 Q right now. He fluctuates. Unlike Taijin, um, he's, you know, like a 4 Don or something. Um, it, it all depends on what server, obviously, but the according to him, anyway, the most ruthless server is, um, is OGS. It gives you the worst rating for what you do. Yeah, OGS gives you, like, the lowest rank. If you place supposedly consistently across all the servers, um, then it gives you the lowest. Exactly, yeah. he. I think he's a 3 a three Don, maybe. It, it, it gives you that fluctuation. He also plays in KGS. I think he's, like, a 1 Don in KGS or something. I've never been on IGS, but that's fair. There's so many sites, it's kind of hard, right? I should be. I don't know. I'm not sure if I have to. If I, if you if you owe me a move or not. I think I can just. I can play this. I kind of played a. Okay, that's fine. As the other hand is a beginner. Okay, I might. I'm trying to stay in OGS for right now, but if I get better at the game, I'll be more apt. To um, to ex to broaden my horizons, basically. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps trying to say uh, it. DDK is a, like some sort of bad word. I have to always tell my bot, like, DDK is the legitimate term. Double digit Q. I've watched some of Hakaro uh, no go, by the way, as he. Well. You ever like it? It's okay. I also like the interface of OGS, to be honest with you. That's, that's bigger for me. Um, I love the way the interface looks compared to some of the other sites. I haven't looked at every one, don't get me wrong. I haven't like done a side-by-side -side comparison. But for some of the options that I have, um, you know, OGS just looks nice. What's your strength uh, Strength and Travix? I'm assuming stronger than me just because that's pretty common. Playing against a 5 percent handicap is a uh, 6-7 Q. Okay, so you're a single digit Q. Look at you. Respect. I mean, even if you're an 8 Q, that still makes you a solid 7 stone stronger than me. And like a 7 stone handicap, as far as I'm concerned, is almost unpalatable. You know what I mean? It's like so hard to do. I've, I've actually played my brother in a nine stone handicap quite a few times and I've lost every game. It, it's funny because you'd think that I wouldn't because, um, you know, nine stones is, like I said, almost unpalatable. But, like, the stone difference because of how low he is, you know, three Q, I, I'm making up for, a, you know, uh, 12, roughly 12 stone difference. And nine stones doesn't cut it. And putting 12 stones on the board would just be pointless, honestly. Not like pointless, pointless, but kind of pointless. <laughs> right, exactly. And I feel like it's more dramatic the longer you... Like, the farther it is, the worse it is for the... Um, the weaker player. Because at some point, the stones really don't matter. When you're that talented at the game, you can pretty much make, you know, whatever plays you need to make because you know exactly what you can get away with. And it's kind of a big deal. You know? The good thing here is, as white, I have a lot of solid territory. And even though I'm not going to get Comey because it's a handicap game, 
there's a pretty big advantage. There's pretty big advantage in having solid points. Oh. This matters, but I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. How do you feel about the game so far, Ezzy? Hmm. I don't know. My nose is really bothering me. Ugh. That's an okay move. I like the idea behind it. Look at you growing up, Azzy, making reasonable moves. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting bullied. Uh, yep. And you get a pretty big moyo in the middle, so that's really what I'm worried about. I get a lot of points in different directions, but yeah, I did. The reason why though is I, I did need to fight for life. You know, he had had a lot of stones around there, and if he had been more aggressive, I I might have died over here. Unlikely, but it's possible. So I'm not going to play it anymore because I don't want to solidify it any further. But yeah, this this was a problem. This is a minor problem, but I'm not as worried about that. And unfortunately, I got to play kind of loose here because I have to stop the potential. You know, even if he gets all of this here, you know, I have a good amount of space as points here. I have some points here. This is basically nothing. Um, this is good. You can make comments, it's fine. Um, especially since Azzy doesn't care too much. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I it, The problem, too, is that obviously I'm a little weaker than you are, so my ability to make a group live, I, I sometimes need to, like... I'm not 100% sure, depending on the situation. And that can be a uh, a weakness for me. Joseki are my weakest part of the game. The opening is my weakest part. <laughs> I was playing Siege Bergy. I told you I played for a few hours. I played for you know two, two almost two and almost two and a half. But if you if you did install it, I'm gonna play Siege like again. Like I pl I've been playing every weekend. 
So, like, it's not a waste of time by any means. Just so we're on the same page. Okay, well, good to know anyway. You're getting close. Mm -hmm. I mean, now this this can live pretty easily. <laughs> this is somewhat problematic, uh, more so. But it's also just less points overall. It wasn't doing anything, so I think this is more important. I could just take this, get one solidified there, but I don't know. It's just this is an instant life, so I think it's just better to take the one move. Because now he can't take this out. And he could try, but like in the process of fighting, I'll get another one. Yep. Um, do I care enough is the question. I think the answer is yes. But I think there's also bigger moves on the board. Where is the question? This isn't worth a ton, but it's worth some. This is worth a lot later, not now. I kind of want to shore up this, because this is a lot of points if I can grab it. I think this is the best move. This is still worth a lot, though. If I can make it work, which is questionable. There are some things to expose in the process, and so that's something. He's, he's unranked, but I, I've been teaching him. So, like, 20Q isn't really an accurate summation. I think he's closer to a little stronger than that. But not... It's questionable. It's questionable. That's the problem. Is He's not consistent because sometimes he fights very well. Like, this, these were good moves by him. I kind of tried to play loose and hope he wouldn't take advantage, which was a mistake. Um, but then sometimes, you know, he plays very, very poorly in certain, like, corner situations. So... It's kind of hard to judge how many stones I need to give him.
Hmm. No. As he is the guy I'm playing against. Well, shit. Hmm. Me personally, I'm taking away more of his points while I, while I do this because it's not really exactly a. He's not getting anything for it. I'm each time I play down here, I'm taking more points. I know this doesn't end the way you know might be beneficial, but. It's worth making sure basically this is destroyed. The problem is this was developed a little bit, but I was never going to stop that anyway. He could have had one move at any point in the game, and it would have been not a factor. Like, this this could have been closed off forever ago, and this still would have been, you know, I, I'm never was, I was never going to get this without an invasion, basically. This actually protects a lot of my points here. I kind of have to respond. So this isn't a problem for me because I haven't really developed much of anything. The problem is I just don't have enough points on the board probably. And that looks more problematic for me. And don't worry, we always review our game too, and I'll point out all the mistakes that I made to get me to basically um, this, which ended up living pretty small. Um, and you know, oh, this not really taking saved. advantage. Save, save, save. 200 IQ, man. 200 IQ. I wish there was more Aji here that I could utilize right now. Um, this isn't worth a whole ton currently. This is worth nothing. This is eh. Uh, I mean, I'll try. I'll try what I gotta do. Most open space as possible. What's up, Bashcat? another Azzy rivalry match. Yeah. I mean, Aji almost directly translates to taste. Um, it's, it's hard for the English language to really make, you know, take good advantage of the term, but... I know about Aji. There's Aji over here. There's technically still Aji over here. Um, because of this move. It would require a mistake, granted, but there's it's possible that this move later as I envelop becomes more and more valuable as time goes on. Um,
as being a troll. I like it. Yeah, pro most likely. I think three. Five was far too many, but three is fine. I also made some mistakes that I was aware of when I made them. I made greedy plays on purpose, which wasn't a good decision, of course. Um, I should have done that a couple moves ago. I really didn't have any hope. There's nothing I can really play. Oh. I got greedy trying to take your quarter. It wasn't really a great move. I mean, I lived, but at what cost? They were still Aji here for later because, in theory, I have forcing moves around this little stick here because I can threaten to cut it off, but that takes a lot of other moves to make it relevant. I made the corner ignored. That was fine. And this little approach, I mean, I did live granted, but because of the fact that he has a hidden capstone, it makes it a lot harder for me to make any profit out of it. I just kind of exist. This was a better corner for me. This one ended up being weird. I took the honey and we kind of traded who was going to turn who. Because you made this group live. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, I think me trying to get into the center was important but you played very well around that do we even cut my stones off because I made a mistake what I should have done here is um probably just this because if I just try to cut off then that just works this cut no that's still a bad cut I probably should never have played this knight's move in the first place I knew it was loose this would have been better it's much harder to cut off it's not impossible but it was a greedy uh, oops Greedy Knight's move. Um, that's really what cost me. I tried to live on the inside, and I actually did, but it, it didn't really help me a lot. And it weakened over here. Um, and I let these stones get cut off, so when he did this, they're dead. Just just pull out. Would have been fine. Right, he can cut. Not a big deal. I still have some late game moves here. This would have cost me a lot less. Like, this makes a lot more sense for me. Um... Oops. 
So everything else at this point would just be getting desperate. Like all these other plays are me just trying to make value where I can. I knew this shouldn't die because he should just take this at any point. But he seemed to be responding and letting me destroy more territory. So I did. Um, I lost an opportunity to plunge through a shape here. I probably should have taken it earlier. I tried to live, but it's just hard to live considering how much black is around. And I didn't play optimally either. So I could have taken this point now. But he still makes it into one eye. And I'd have to be struggling to get another eye. Like, I don't, I don't see where my other eye is. Yeah, I had to play. I had to play unreasonably. Um, and I hoped... My only last hope, basically, was that Azzy would mess up. Because the game's already over at this point. If he lets this come out... Like, if I don't know, if he's like, oh, I'll just kill your stone or something. Which I guess that actually doesn't work. This would, this would stop me, too, I guess. Yeah, there's really not a lot of hope. Any, any response would really do this. But if he, for some reason, thought, like, oh, yeah, I'll connect my stones. And I don't know. Then he dies. Because he has to answer this throw-in immediately. If he decides instead to be like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll take a liberty. Okay, I'll connect. I'll take a liberty. I have two liberties. And I do this. And there's nothing he can do because this kills. But, you know, there's a lot The top invasion. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I could have tried to cross cut and maybe get life that way. But it just, it shouldn't live. I mean, if you if you back up to where I started the invasion... Like, look at all the black stones around. There's really not much. I could have gone closer to the top. That might have been smarter, because you can get more life around the top easier. That probably would have been a better play. I was looking for open area away from black, but I actually probably should have started somewhere over... Maybe not there. Maybe, like, over here, because there's still Aji over here. And if he tries to play me towards it, then I threaten to take this. I wouldn't do it like that, but, like, the general idea of making this potentially alive again. Threatening to connect, threatening to connect through here. I have a lot of forcing moves that he has to answer. But... It was well played. I don't think I can ever be uh, Azzy with that sort of handicap as it stands now. So, Azzy. Want to do a two handicap or three? I think three. I don't think a, a two is particularly... Uh, I don't think you'll win, but three is a fairer. I think it's a solid <laughs> game. You might win two. Granted, it's still a handicap, but... Without Tengen. Tengen was one of my problems, too. It shouldn't usually come up, but him having Tengen did end up coming up in that little middle area. Am I black again? Yeah. Oh. Uh, smart move is always just to take the other corner. <laughs> Your turn, my friend. Let's do it. I believe in you. I don't. I don't really want to play an influence game with black. But I could. That one's not so hot. It's kind of low. I don't really like that one either. How long will I play this? Mm -hmm. I can't make a two-space extension to go back, which I don't really need to. I could just take the corner, which is fine. Um, I could do this, which is a less optimal move to my understanding. This just feels too weak. I'll take the corner. You can play this so many different ways, and I'm just not sure which ways. Usually you extend. I'll shoot that anyways. Oh, guess not. 
a double approach. I could Tanuki. I thought about that. I did consider Tanuki Ash Cat. I did not consider a double approach. Yeah, I know. The opening is always my weak my weakness. Usually, I get I get advantages on like Azzy with uh, the mid game. Oh, end game too. I know how to end game better, so I know like which end game points are real. Usually, once in a while, I make a mistake though. I've definitely thrown some points away in the end game. It's not perfect. I don't pretend it to be. This works nicer with the stones that are here. <laughs> or die horribly. I mean, you never know. I just wasn't sure where to go there. I didn't want to go too close. I felt like I didn't want to fight that fight. I guess I should have just to be aggressive, just for the sake of being aggressive. I just didn't really want to touch there. But I guess my touch looks better than his situation, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really super familiar just with the way that the stones played out, I guess. Might as well just get all the corners I can to start. I mean, I do give him a big influence game, but... I do need to start with some points. It's kind of hard not to. It puts me at a disadvantage because he's a couple stones ahead. However, unlike last game, which was a disaster because of all the stones, I got two stones better than last time. So all I need to do is make more reasonable plays, and I think I'll be all right. You think you're solid? Okay, fair enough. Sometimes the solid connection is better. I usually do do the solid connection. Yeah, sure. Okie dokie. So. I have problems, that's for sure. The question is, where do I even start? Well, no, I know. They're creating a lot of influence. I know. The question is, how do I reduce his influence? But it's kind of hard. I could come in this way. I could directly play somewhere in this area because there's no influence that should, in theory, make it particularly bad. I mean, it'll be it'll be what it is, and I have to obviously go in certain directions. So I might want to tend towards a direction that would be beneficial to me. But 
I could also weaken my group that way. I could play over here. There's still moves to have. This kind of looks like it's not going to have anything, uh, but I could make forcing moves. This the, these doesn't look have anything interesting at all. I don't know. Let's just do something weird. Exactly, best move of the game. I always say Tengen's the worst move in the game, but, you know, there are times where it's more normal, but it's... That's true. We'll see. The excitement. Let's go for you.
I'm worried about this and this. I'm not worried about this right now, Ashcat. I'm sure you could. You know, I don't. I don't think it'll happen here. Same situation as we were looking at down there, right? Uh, do, 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 do. You're terrified. <laughs> Would it make you feel better if I played down here, Ashcat? I will, just for you. Because I, I guess I could take something like this, and now it's it's fine. Is that is that what you're trying to get at? Or are you trying to look at this? Because if that's the case, I've looked at it a couple of times and I don't know how. Because I know this. Boom. Now there's those. But this is already in, you know. So that doesn't make a lot of sense to me there. I could do this. Oh. Oh, I'm... S no. No, 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 because that's the extra. So once I do this, he just does this. I go here. He goes there, and he still has the other one. So it really doesn't matter. It's close, but it's, it's still off. Unfortunately. Now, granted, will it play out like that? I don't know. But I can leave it for later. Because, you know, a, a good player should be able to make this fine because of the, th the three. That's the problem. It goes two. They block, I guess, here. I'm still trying to do it in my head. If we do it this way. No, no, okay, okay, that's fine. I'm just looking into... I'm looking into this. I don't think there's any way. Because I do this. He should block this way. I go over here. He blocks this way, still having enough. And then I'm, I'm gone. Of course, of course. I thought it was fine, but I'm sure I'm, I'll actually mess around with it during the review to see what you mean. I'm pretty sure that he can play pretty dang close, and you're probably right. That's why I put it. Urgent is the biggest. Because if this group is only worth, like, three stones, it wouldn't be urgent. It is the biggest because it's worth more stones than what, you know, a comparative would be. This is still not really, you know... Doing the thing. You think so? You think this isn't worth enough? I don't disagree. I, I, I believe you. I'm a little concerned about the move. 
I was thinking about making it this way, but it doesn't help this connection at all to these. <laughs> Well, I just think this group is incredibly weak. So I think, you know, yeah, I guess he's making a lot of points. And I suppose that's that's, that's important. I just kind of figured to myself that this would be a lot. Because I will technically own most of, not all this down here, but most of this. If it goes the way that I think it will. Plus I have these two. So I'm not sure this is worth a lot. Obviously, this is a pretty big box. And he has some points down here. But I just kind of figured that. This is probably around half of the map, not counting some of these things here, but around half. And I own this up here, so I figured that's going to be roughly half, but I know that it's different because he could live. My presumption was he might not. So I kind of have to double down now because this is already pretty unassailable. But you're right, I probably could have just left a little earlier and just made this not really much of a problem. And yeah, I wouldn't have killed this, but will potentially kill this because I might still might not but I'm not sure. That's realistically my uh, my issue. I actually have to answer that. Nice by him. It was, I agree. It's making my job difficult. My nose, relax. <laughs> it's not a, it's not like a commotion, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes. I think he only has one monitor, so he reads the chat sometimes. When he can.
he's yeah obviously this is not never going to happen like there wasn't a good way to get them connected that wasn't too heavy to allow me to attack and obviously he already has this unless he doesn't answer uh these which he will Now it's my job to make sure this lives. Usually it's a sumigo problem. It's like, you know, white to move, save your life. I don't know what the move is actually. This feels like it, shape wise. But I should really evaluate this first. He has to go here. I go on the other side. So, boom, boom, boom. He has two. He can't go down, he can't really move actually because every move would be gone. So after that's determined, he'll poke in further. And I take that. And now this is mine. Okay. He could play here, of course. And I think that's okay for white if I remember correctly. Ah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Wow. I misread and I realized as soon as I started too. I was like, yeah, that's not gonna work. Three stone handicap my butt. <laughs> 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 yeah, I should have just taken the the move that I knew was easier. I'll go back and do it in the review. I knew too. I don't know why I thought that was going to be better. It's fine though. It's not fine. It's probably it's resignable, but it's fine anyway. Oh well, what are you gonna do? No. Wait, there's four people watching. Yeah. I mean, on the website. Yeah. No, it doesn't live at all. Not nothing up here. Even if he could give me a free move, and I'm, it still doesn't live. He give me as many free moves in this corner as I want. Actually, it still wouldn't live, unless the unless those free moves are to surround his entire shape. <laughs> unless he gives me that many moves, it's not gonna work. What are you gonna do? Uh. I'm just trying to think of anything I can do that's actually even remotely anything. I don't know.
I mean, I've beaten him before with uh, with four, but that was oh, it was only one game. There's really nothing else I can do. I mean, he has to make a mistake for me to get anything done. Um, I won't play the whole game out that way, but I'll just try a couple random things. It's it's not it's not going to matter anyway. Um, I mean, I play if I played him in a straight game and beat him by about a hundred points. I've played him in like a four and beat him by barely, like it was like six points. And I've played him in anywhere between like that two and three. Um, Lose hunt? Of course, the cave is way over. I said to hope that you made some huge error. Because if you would, I'll show you in the review, but. Um, you want to try with a no handicap? Uh, we can try a straight game just to prove a dash cat, sure. But I'm going to lose. Well, but... yeah, but. Well, maybe. I mean, who knows? You've been paying attention to the lessons I've given you. Hold on. I literally can't win without a handicap. There you go, man. 300? I told you for each uh, reduced handicap stone that if you win, you get 300. I'll do the review quick because it was hard. Um, Let's see. I tried to slide in your corner. It was a little greedy. I could have just made like a different play. Like uh, Ashcat said, it could have just double approached you instead. Because you kind of ignored me. That probably would have been better. Um, yeah, it died. Uh, this was also a bad play by me. So when you first played this, um, I was supposed to give the stone up and live in the corner. And then you try to trap me in, and I play this. And I don't even know what happens after this because it's kind of hard to live here. I wasn't really sure. Um, I didn't respond to your move properly, most likely. Like, you can slide in the corner here, but I probably... You know what? I already made a mistake. That This was a mistake. This is bad Hane. Just play straight, right? And you can Hane, I Hane, you know, you play solid or whatever. I play solid. I guess you can... No, I'll die there too. So, I don't think you can... Oh, that's why, because you can't Hane there. Because I'll run you out. Cactus juice? Who's this cactus juice? Okay, I can do that. Sure. And once I play straight, like, right, right. This is fine. Right, exactly. That was my point. Thank you. Um, exactly. There's other ways to play that corner. The honey started me off for failure just to begin with, though. It's a bad honey. Um, I somehow still found life on the top, which I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have lived here. Um, Ashcat was saying this was a misclick. I mean, I guess I could play like this and threaten to take more of the corner. I'm not sure if that's what she meant, but I could. Um, I could even do this. But if I get cut off, it looks kind of bad. Yeah, I don't think that's what she meant. I think she wanted me to just play maybe deeper in the corner. What I had to play? Yeah, even just like this looks... It's just taking more of the corner. I'm not sure. This was pretty normal. This was the same shape. It was the exact same shape. You kind of let me own the middle there, and I sort of crunched you in. My real problem came because um, all my bad all my bad shape down here cost me and allowed me not to kill this group, even though I 100% surround it. Um, and this I couldn't put any pressure on because even though I surround it too, you know, there's enough liberty problems that I had to run myself out and give you more strength around it. So basically, this shape cost me a lot of points. Um... Everything else cut stems from that. This is just a bunch of play, and I allow him to solidify. So he approached. This is fine. The correct response here, because um, we were talking about that. S17, I believe. Um, just playing solid. I'll look over that in a second. Play solid. What does he do, right? He could, in theory, try to... I'm not even sure. Stop me from taking this corner, because I can't do this, obviously. Um, I suppose that looks kind of wait whose turn was it you know that looks sort of threatening because I can't play that straight but I can just play this when he pokes it on this side right um, which way does he play he doesn't play like that play like this I would be dead Sorry, I tried not to get rid of the first move. I tried still not to get rid of the first move. Whatever. 
so I play here. He, he descends. I play like this. Oh, right. It's a snapback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So, yeah. So, that is the right move. I just didn't realize it because of the snapback. So, I should connect. He tries to do this. I play here. He can't take it because of the snapback. Um, and I'm alive, obviously. He can't possibly connect these. So, I should just live if I just connect. This is this is the move. This wouldn't change the game that dramatically, but it would have made it a lot closer. Um, but the game was pretty much already over here. And I honestly believe that this corner and this terrible play around it was what cost me most of my points. Yeah, I think so too. I think any other way and it dies. At least for my red. C17 is what you had in mind. So let me go back to that. Oh. Just like this? Yeah, that's what I said, right? I could Tanuki. Of course I could Tanuki. That's, that's fair too. I probably should Tanuki actually this board because this small amount of points isn't worth as much as an evasion. Yeah, because like I need to get these these done. Because if, if I if, if I do this and he gets like sente, like this is a lame move. But like if he gets sente just to like get an enclosure or something, I'm not sure that's the actual enclosure. But like any any sort of enclosure, really, uh, I'm kind of in a pro I kind of have a problem. So later on, there was a variation. This, um, so he does this. I can't do this because instant death. Um. I don't see I can still threaten this but there's nothing there's nothing there I don't think I don't think this variation works I mean it was this a mistake variation because I don't think I don't think this works he has one eye so he's looking for a second right so this just gets him an eye how what do you play after this It's alive. He's already got one eye. And he did respond to this. Yeah. All good. I'm just glad to realize I, I, I was worried that I read this wrong. I'm almost positive he was alive. I was like, what? Yeah, he's alive. All right, Azzy, game three. I gave you your squiggles. Oops. I probably should actually challenge you instead of just clicking on your thing. I almost challenged to Ash Cat. That would be a disaster. You want to be right. white or black? So no hand. Uh, it's up to you. I don't care. All right, I'll be black. How about that? All okay. right, so no, it's Comey's automatic, so Comey's back in business. Oh, no, we're playing straight now. We're doing it. Um, no handicap. Okay, cool. I'm obviously rusty. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Got to do that. Important. First move, Asky's already lost. <laughs> Doesn't it feel poor to, to not have any of those handicap stones? Yeah. Kind of does. <laughs> We've done this a couple times now. Yeah, I don't like handicap games to be honest with you, Ash Cat. Like, you know, it's fine when Azzy started, like, they had no idea what was going on, but as he learned, like, there's the basic ideas of connections, because I taught him, you know, a lot of important basics. Then he kind of learned what is and isn't unreasonable, basically. Um, this is too passive. This is fine. In any game, I can do this. Um, he learned what's more, what is and isn't reasonable, and so he'll see my cut points and he'll exploit them. Um, so I think in this even game, for example, I feel like he won't be able to um, take as much advantage. That makes sense. <laughs> Do 
No, I understand that, Ashcat. <laughs> I'm just trying to think what's great here. I don't want to give him the opportunity to play this. I want this. This can work. It's kind of back and down, but I don't know. I'm asking for the cross. I think this can be okay. You don't think so? Honey, was the good choice on the outside? The outside, honey? Okay, I'll look at that afterwards. This doesn't matter as much. That's it's what it, this stone at this point it doesn't matter as much. I want this. I'm blooding my own stone here for bad shape. At this point, I kind of have to just because it's such solid. It's so solid. I don't think running this way is smart. Okay. Cool. It does, but this this is more important at the moment, I feel. Because it's still in a, you know, a little bit of a, a not-so-sweet spot. This one I know is a problem, and I just, unfortunately, at this point, I don't have the opportunity to play this. Okay, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Okay, Ashcat. Uh, I guess I guess you're, you're, I believe you again. So what I'm gonna do in the review is I'm gonna try to be as I'm gonna play as white to try to kill it, and then I'm sure I'll learn why it wasn't as bad off as it looked, and then it'll become obvious to me too. That's usually what has you know. That's usually what helps me is I, like my brother, my my brother, you know, since he's my teacher, will always say the same thing. He'll be like, okay, well, make the move look bad then, and then of course I'll fail, and I'll be like, it's because it's not a bad move, it's fine. Um, that usually helps me a lot. I wish this was still an option, but at this point it's not. There's nothing I can do besides like doing crazy moves. And this is a lot, but this is just as much almost, and I still have to contend with this, and this is small. He actually doesn't have much here, which is nice. Yeah, that's, well, yes, that was the move I wanted to get back to, basically. This is looking strong enough. It has enough space. So is this. This is still technically invadable, isn't it? But do you play out more? I don't remember where you'd play here. I don't want to answer this. It seems too small right now. I think I'm fine with how big my group is. I think it's here because I have the option to go out if he wants to save his territory. <laughs> That's nuts. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking time. So the thing is, is, I'm thinking about this. This is fine. They're still end game, but that's fine. This group and this group look pretty secure by themselves. They're pretty normal things. I can't really do anything to them now. This area is completely undecided. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to talk while you type, but yes. 
This seems settled enough for now. It still could use help because of this. So this could use a move in theory if I think it needs it, which it might. Um, this group seems fine. I don't think this matters. I don't really have... I can just play right here. It'll be fine. I don't think I can invade this. I can't really like di like directly approach. This seems too close. So I could just try to play on the outside here. Right, but what I'm seeing here, so I I read it a little bit, but I didn't read, I'll read I'll read more. Right. Okay. So basically, the kind of move I was looking at, I can do first, and then utilize that. So like I could make a move like maybe this is too close, but I could do a move like this, and then utilize that to get this move, and he has a choice to make, and then I'll have two moves here, basically. And I can utilize that to kind of play around it. Oh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to yell at them in chat. I know you're in Discord, it's fine. That's the thing about any any good move. You can know what I'm trying to do. You still have a choice to make. Also, you'd have to be watching the stream actively to know what spaces I'm hovering over. That's why I don't say the spaces out loud. They do, but I don't. I think if I live here and I just settle, I think I'm ahead. I actually prefer to play as white, funny enough, but because I'd have Komi to rely on, but I think I'm ahead. Because this turns small real quick, so all of his points are here and here, and I have a huge one. Like, this breaks up this entire side, which is really big. As he's thinking... I'm stressing, Azzy. I don't want to lose a straight game to you. I'll owe you 600 squiggles, which really isn't that much, but 600 squiggles, but I'll also... Uh... Make me a moderator? Talk? You'll get closer. He might be able to. I make mistakes, and that's the thing, is I might be a 15Q, and like a solid enough 15Q. Um, however, I'm not... I make mistakes. So, like, usually what gets me through most of my games, and you guys have seen this, especially you, Ashcat, is I fight pretty well. Like, I don't count this as fighting. This is, like, a little fighting. But I usually fight pretty well. Um, but my weakness is the early game. And I usually set myself up for some... Like, this was okay. Like, some of these moves are fine. This wasn't so hot. Um, this was probably my, my biggest problem. But everything else was, like, okay. It was fine. Um, usually I set myself up for failure, and then I'm fighting my way back. I'm always behind in the mid game. So the fact that I'm doing okay right now is, is nice for me. I think I'm tied roughly depending on you know how you look at it the question is now what's the biggest move on the board yeah and I, you know me and my me and my my brother he's been really hammering in early game to me so every time we get the chance to talk which is about once a week we talk about go for like an hour or two he's really trying to hammer in like the earlier parts of the game i'm just i'm a thick learner sometimes it comes to go but uh You know, it's something that we're definitely working on. I don't know if this is big enough. It's questionable, to say the least. This doesn't work. 
I'm really going to take my time here. I'm just trying to see which moves I think are worth something. This still needs something, I think. And I don't like the way this looks, to be honest. But I'm not even sure what I would do with it. Yeah, I guess strength and just having stones around. It's it's threatening to weaken this, which is nice. It's it's not going to kill it. But at least puts a little pressure, like a mild pressure, like 10%. Um, because that move like over here would really, you know, hammer that in. Um, access to the middle. I do have a little access here, but this is really minor. This is my access right here. Does this work? I don't like the shape. I'd rather just play straight. Whatever. If it loses me two points in end game for safety, I'll take the safety. <laughs> yeah, and... His, his move's bold? I agree. Um, you know, the problem is for me, I guess the opening requires a lot of memory. So fighting is a is a universal, right? How do you take liberties while, in, you know, increasing your own? How do you, um, you know, make solid connections to your stones? Well, right, but I meant, like, you could have the same basic idea, but a lot of Joseki get kind of complicated. If I play this, I don't think it works, so he does that. I go up here, and he'll approach this way, and I'm kind of in a bad spot. All right, direction of play makes more sense to me. I could always just... I don't know. This doesn't look great for me. I think I can just take away all the eye shape, though. And that seems big for me. Well, I, I don't know if... I, he gets an eye, basically. Like, that's a... So right now, he has none. No, granted, he can make space and potentially get one. But right now, there is nothing as far as, you know, that's concerned. And that's my concern is that I'd be giving him one for free. Now one is not always the problem. I'd have to, I have to, I'd have to play it out, and I just I don't read as well. Uh, very very few very few. But if I kill, then I still have to find my access to the middle too. Because right, the more he runs with this weak group, the more he weakens his other groups. I don't care if he lives. I'm thinking about the gains I can get chasing him. Because like this, for example, the more he runs into the middle, he's going to make zero. And right now, I think I'm a... Well, I'm not ahead with this anymore. But I, I still have an okay corner, and I still have this. Um, I might be able to make points as he runs, and he'll get zero. So that's really what I'm considering. Um, That's true. That probably would have been better, Ashcat. The good thing is I just solidified some of my points up here, too. Because this works. Yeah, because good extra liberty. I will take that, though. That was a threat. I had to get rid of that as soon as possible. Why let him have one for free? Give him zero.
That's fair. I just figured he'll, he's now running with more weakness. So even though he's getting another move, his shape gets weaker and weaker as he does it because now he's struggling for two or a connection. Now a connection he'll probably, you know, he'd get, I suppose. But I was less concerned, I suppose, because I'm probably going to make all of these now. Well, not all because he has little access, but... Yeah, that's true. And that's definitely a concern of mine. Um, I don't like the position that I'm put in, I guess. And the problem now is, you know, it's hard to, to do anything I want to do. I feel forced. Sounds like you're cheating off something, Azzy. You're always clicking around before your actual move. What are you doing back there? I'm browsing. What are you browsing? It definitely is, Ashcat. It's your move. You don't have to play quickly, but you see you're browsing. Don't browse. Thank you. Much love, Azzy. Me too, baby. You okay? Right? For once, Ashcat. Tengen! Woo! What? Nothing. You played on Tengen, and she was just joking, because Tengen is a, is a, it's a, it's a funny move. It's not, you, not the one you played, but in general, it's a funny move. No. So what are you thinking, Azzy? Give us our give us your thought process. Hmm. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I actually should have just let Azzy keep browsing because uh, his time would obviously be dwindling away as he's browsing. I know, it has no idea. Honestly, Azzy, it's not even a bad play what you just did. And the reason why I say that is because you're, you, what you did made me have to respond. Meaning if you don't want to play around that big group, your best bet is to just make moves that are big enough that I have to answer. And the problem is if you make a move that I don't have to answer, then obviously that's, that could be more problematic. But that's assuming your group isn't already dead. And if it's already dead, then of course I'm not going to play there anyway. So, yeah, Score estimator sucks, actually. I, I, I hate the score estimator because like it doesn't give white any credit over here. It doesn't give white any credit over here. It's mean. Yeah, I kind of agree, Ashcat. I thought I thought similarly. The problem, I guess, is that this, with this thing, get a little bit more issue. Like you know, I I don't think that it'll work like that because I think I can go dun, 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 and I'm back to that. So it should be fine. But there there's that to think about. What are you even browsing? <laughs> yeah, I can't wait, wait, wait. Are you messaging Falcon begging for his help? No. Are you asking Ashcat for secret advice? <laughs> That's what you're doing. <laughs> Hikaru no go, man. That's true. That's very true, Ashcat. As always, you have the wisest of advice. I think I'm pretty good now. This is the only thing that really... I don't think there's a way out. I do see what you mean, though, Ashcat. So I guess me chasing this group, even if it was overall successful, in theory, um, it might not have been worth it because it was too risky. And it, it introduced a level of risk into the game that I didn't need to introduce. I could have just taken a safer option. And even though the total points would be less, um, it would have been worth that.
I don't think we've covered much about that in that context, if you know what I mean. Um, that probably wasn't really the move, but it's fine. I don't think it'll cost me. Oh. Okay. That's fine. Sarakatsu is raiding with a party of seven. Thank you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Can I spell that? Much appreciation, as always. Sadakats. Sadakats. Very well. Thank you for correcting that. Very important. I actually feel really bad whenever I get someone's um, name wrong. Charybdis. Oh, I kind of missed that one too. Well, I gotta take this while it's fresh. Yeah, uh, yes. That is actually, uh, very accurate. It is from the Odyssey, because it's part of Odysseus's uh, travel. One, Yeah, I know. It's okay. I still got some stones out of it. And I got a lot of strength to fight out of. So, like, I know this isn't always accurate, obviously. But, you know, I still have points around the board. I just need to get more out of the strengths that I have in every direction. Example. If I can make this mine, it's pretty big. And that was the threat, and I knew that was possible. 
Um, Oh, what? What? That woman counting. That's fair, Ashcat. I've got no time left. Oh, yeah, the woman counting. Huh. It's a little stressful, isn't it? I gave him a lot of time, to be fair. I'm a little bit less forgiving. Like, he gave us, like, 30 minutes. He's too busy browsing. That's his fault. He's, browse he's browsing anime. That's what he was actually doing. Why do you always be so mean, Azzy? Noble Endeavor. <laughs> oh, Ashcat. All right, have a good night. Thank you again for the raid, my friend. Leave my you leave my stones alone. This woman's gotta be killing you, man. You realize you do have five of those periods. If she hits zero, it'll go down four, hit zero again, three, so you should be okay. Oh I do? Yeah, but like they're permanent, so like once you get down to one and you time out, your the game's over. Like so if you lose one of the five, you'll you'll be four for the rest of the game. I just want that to be clear. I don't want you to have some misunderstanding. <laughs> and furry jumps in. <laughs> of course you were here. Of course. Hey, thanks for the follow. Much appreciation, my friend. Sarakats, as it was. Well, I don't... I don't do it because I can't. I just do it as a general idea. 
it, it helps remind me which territories it doesn't think are solid because that more gives me an indication of which territories really aren't solid. Um, and I find that very helpful. No, the game's not over, Azzy. You still have a chance. I promise you when I say that, too. Yeah, I know. It's just something that I find, um, as you could say, fun. Almost. It can be, but right there, it's okay. To my understanding. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, other places? Yes. Agree. Um, I just meant this was okay. That's all. Well, wait, this. Sorry. Maybe not ideal, but there's no, um, there's no, like, I have to do that. Uh, now I have to. I guess that's fair. He gets a move for, for free that forces me because of a liberty problem. Okay. Now I understand. So I guess that's fair. I do technically lose Aji for it. I'll accept that.
Fair. That wasn't really worth. That's good advice. You're right. I can't even. I can't even like contest it. To be honest with you, Ashcat, you're just right. Started two months ago. Come on now. No, he didn't. Did he? Apparently, I don't know, man. Oh yeah, yeah, he got sidetracked. I don't, I don't follow in Furry's anime watching habits. He suggests things to me at times, and like that's fine. But um, I, I don't, I don't ask him what he's watching and like try to like keep track in my head about what what shows are, you know, big and which ones aren't. You guys and your anime. I like anime too, don't get me wrong, but... Wait, shit.
I'm sure it does. Um. <coughs> I mean, the score count of thing is saying that I win. So far, at least. Yeah, that sounds like it. Sounds like that dastardly score counter. Am I gonna lose? Probably not. Unfortunately, there's just not really a lot I can do. Like, you've been causing me problems for a while. I made a couple mistakes with the stones you took earlier to the right of the board. I, I shouldn't have, uh... I shouldn't have been able to lose those. But I made a mistake. passing just I don't know just in the game no oh, okay
ですか、本当Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, right. I don't want to do it, man. Okay. What? Your bottom part of that group is alive. It was never connected. I've been eyeing that for like, I don't know, 150 turns. <laughs> the problem is if you know it like that's that's one of the things that separates some people too is like noticing noticing moves so I don't want you to feel bad about it the more you play go the more you notice things that need to be connected when they need to be connected because technically you should never have lost the group um, I, um so, but like to be honest was... with you if you if yeah that's fine but like if if you had not let that go at the end you win this game I don't know I don't think there's any more trouble I can cause you. So you would have won, even considering the smaller things you lost in the upper right corner in that right group, you still, I think, would have won by about three points. I have to check. But oh, I'm I ran out of time. I had to place quickly. That's true, actually. You, you did let yourself run out of those. That was intense. We'll do the review, though. And I, I admit to, I know Ash Cat's going to say it. I shouldn't have won the game. I didn't deserve to win the game. I messed up. I only won because of a mistake. And granted... Excuse me. You can argue that he put weaknesses in his own shape, and maybe I could have got those other two points without it, but still. The approach is fine. Other approach, back up, take the corner. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty normal. Um, this I didn't know as much. Um, I didn't know how to answer this. <clears throat> the honey on the outside is what he suggested because the cross cut here looks sort of bad. Because once he extends, I do this. No, that's not what I do. This. Right. Live on the inside. He can try to take that if he wants. I'm actually not sure how you do this. 
One, two, three. He's got three. That's kind of problematic, right? Yeah, I don't know. What's the sequence here, Ashcat? When he does this. We'll look into I'll, I'll ask Ashcat. Maybe she'll show me a variation or something. Um, I took something, which was fine. More normal corners. I took an extension. Not the tiger's mouth. Or I'm not sure what you would do in general. Like, I'm not even sure how that goes after that point is what I mean. That's fine. You strengthen the corner, so I decided running was essential. I made that group live. So far, I'm doing fine. I think the game is relatively even. This cut made the game more in my favor. I think I'm winning now. Slightly. Um, you living here is the problem. So what Ashcat suggested was push you down. So here, I should have made an aggressive move. I should have just accepted it. I should have just done this. Abandon? Okay. Um, well, the double approach is supposed to be good is what I mean, Ashcat. So when he plays that move out of the double approach, there should be an advantageous place to, to do it. Should I just back out? Like, you mean abandon like that? Like, just back both stones out and just take the outside? And not jump in at all? Because I guess that makes sense. I'll go back to that. I should just do this. Just let him live small, right? If he wants to extend, that's fine. He'll probably... That's not the, that's not the move. But he'll probably find some way to make some eye shape. Okay. Um... Just let it be. He'll live here. He'll live small. I have a wall facing the inside, right? So, you know, soon I'll, I'll have something to do with that. All right, Azzy. Appreciate it, my man. You played very well. I tried to kill him. We had this big thing here. Uh, honestly, my big problem is that I had to fix the Atari that I left myself, and that allowed him to get a move out. So I tried to jump around him a little bit block him from going different directions. I actually don't need to take the side, and, and uh, Ashcat was right. If I just played more, like, blocking instead, then, you know, I'm probably going to be able to stop him. It's, uh... I'm 15Q. As he's unranked. Can I avoid M16? We're right here. Yeah, I could take this first. I mean, instead of like, like I said, I could have just left him small, but he probably would have lived here. But that's fine. I definitely could have kept white in and live, and that would have been fine. And I agree with you there. But once white was already kind of out, I was kind of having a problem. I chased white around. I harassed. The bamboo joint was good on Azzy's part. Yeah, well, I could have let White live really small. Exactly. Um, I should have ignored this. I don't. I don't think this is big enough. He lives by himself. All I'm threatening to take is this and lose some points. It's not worth it. I should have just taken a move against this group. I think answering was bad. I should have taken the advantage to have a move on him. On him, because what ends up happening is he makes a lot of diagonal moves, which are good eye shape, and I have to start poking out eyes to stop him from making a lot. So this move wasn't necessary. I should have let that one go. I should just uh, poke this one. Because right now this can't be an eye now. So he's at zero eyes as it stands. This would have been better. And yeah, he can try to jump up here, but I don't think he has a way out. Like, he could try something aggressive, but I, I'm not even sure what he would do. This would have saved me too. Uh, he tries to go down, but in the process, he makes better eye shape. This stopped one of his eyes. I had to stop that because the mouth turns into an eye. Right here, I was worried about him plunging through. I shouldn't. I should be, actually. He'll make up the tiger's mouth. That's rough. I have to block. And because I block, he takes the co for the eye. At this point, I should be... Where's he end up getting his eye? I shouldn't even poke this. How many eyes does he have right now? One. Oh, he'd have two. Right. So right here, I should have already had this poked. Because now he doesn't have an eye, and he'll make one. No problem. But I had to stop two at once. It's me, I. He'll get one or the other. And I get some stones for it, but it's not worth it. 
and he gets another call to, to save this eye. Nothing's as big as this group right now. So we fight over some stuff. Let's wait till my next big mistake. This group needs to connect. Mistake number one. The only reason I had to kill this is because this didn't connect. And I ignore it for a long time. This is bad too. This is not acceptable. I don't know why I thought this short of a of liberties. He needs one less liberty, so this isn't okay. This caused a huge problem. It spiraled out of control. And I, I even pushed further into it, right? I should have said, crap, this doesn't work. Do this. He pushes up. Whatever. I keep some space. Now, granted, I did kill what went inside. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't kill that. Well, I shouldn't have. He let it die, but I shouldn't kill it. I mean, I poke into his territory a little bit, but this is, like, this is the mistake, right? He just, he separated my group. I hope you ignore the bamboo joint, but I can't really rely on my opponents to mess up. Like, yeah, as he did mess up, but I couldn't have guaranteed that. And so everything that follows here is just me being dumb and hoping as he'll mess up, and he does. But I should never have been at that point. Like, I'm a stronger player than as which he would admit to himself. There's no reason I should have ever been in the situation. Chasing the group was dumb. Not preventing the eyes correctly was dumb. Um, letting this group get, get off was dumb. Letting this get cut off was dumb. And I missed some opportunities too. So, this is bad. I should connect first. Now, yeah, he has the chance to fix, sure. But if he's more worried about, you know, anything else on the board, like, oh, you know, I just want to have no nothing over there. Now this group has less liberties. Now I would need to play again. But I'm going to make him fill this. And it, it's Aji. It, it, sorry, it's Dame points that I'm going to you know, make him take on the inside. Because if he ignores again, because now he has to answer, I believe. I poke this. He's got two liberties. I have two liberties, right? Oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I poke this first. He answers. Now I poke this. This has one liberty. So he has to save it. So I poke out. No, I guess this still doesn't work. With perfect play, he'll be fine. But if he saves on this side, now it's a disaster. Because I can do this into this. It's dead. So he needs to make the exact right move. And at our level, I do expect mistakes like that. Now, like, I'm not saying I should, but that's a very reasonable mistake to make. Just uh, Ataraing on the wrong side. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. If I extend the, the loss, does it matter? Like that's a more reasonable mistake to you know that I would expect someone to make. This isn't unreasonable for me to expect a mistake in here. Now I still played it poorly, but that's fine. I should not, however, expect him to let me take all the liberties on this group without him noticing. That one I understand, right? But it still has two. He should notice. I'm not blaming Azzy for not noticing, but like in a an ideal world. Okay. This one, the problem here is that he should have realized uh, that right now he can't push it any further. He should have to pull back. And that gives me an extra move. Which doesn't actually matter. I'm not going to live anyway without this. But What problem has he... I don't think those stones mattered. Even even if even when you passed, the game shouldn't have. I shouldn't have won. Honestly, is that it right there? It it didn't it didn't change anything. You should just do this and you're fine. Like it's okay. Even with this, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the game said it was relatively even. You were ahead. So I would need to make you right around here. I just I need to make you fill territory. So I need to give threats that you feel like you need to fix, which this isn't one of them. But I'm not even sure what. Like, oh look, Azzy, you're getting low on liberties there, and hope you fix what you don't need to. But it doesn't work. Um, so I shouldn't win. But obviously, you just didn't realize this move took the liberty because this looks like one solid chain, but it's not. It happens. Ashcat wants me to go back. Tiger's mouths. So, Ashcat, you think I should... 
You said earlier, I should just go into the middle, like back up. I can just extend out of here, right? I guess you can extend on top of me, but a third line doesn't seem that bad. Like, what's the best move here? Like, give me your, your best answer, because I just want to know before I go into the tiger's mouth. So I'm just, I'm very curious. So Hani first, and just let it, whatever happens, happens, basically. So if he's going to cross-cut, just take the outside. Oh, you can't do that. So he won't cross-cut, probably, because that's bad for him. Yeah, I, I guess I understand. I'll get something. Okay. Tiger's Mouths. Uh, I'm black. I made a Tiger's Mouth here, but I had to to save the shape. There's no other way to save my shape, so that's fine. This one's a Tiger's Mouth, but it saves my shape. I think you argued this would be better. I agree. It gives me the... Uh, he he kind of has to follow because the ability to turn and crawling on the third line is actually pretty okay. So I agree. That was a bad Tiger's Mouth. This tiger's mouth, yeah. This tiger's mouth, I felt like threatened to go in, but he should just do this, and then it means very little. I was trying to make good eye space too, but if I'm gonna do that, I should just make a I should just make a, a knight's move. Oh, <coughs> I see that now. All right, I like that a lot better too. So the wrong tiger's mouth. This was a bad tiger's mouth, but it was for a different reason. It wasn't to make a tiger's mouth. It was because I somehow thought this would go well. It didn't. This was necessary because I left a huge weakness in my shape. He should have taken advantage of it. This is why chasing him was bad. If Azzy had been paying attention the move before, um, he just... Oh, sorry. He does um, this. And I think it... No, oh, I guess he doesn't get out. I guess it's okay. It's still not great for me, though. Because he'll get more pressure on this group. And he can probably connect this out. Uh, he doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work. But it it could cause problems because now I need to play something over here immediately. And now he has, you know, more. He has more pressure. I guess you could say. Like, not that this this does create some eye shape. This I have to answer. Like, I can't ignore this for a move. Without unless I do that. Um, because now I have a problem because I have to connect this, but this cut, I think, works. Yep, it just works instantly. So this, it looks, ba it looks bad for me, but there's ways to play around it. I wouldn't be dead. More tiger's mouths. Show me the tiger's mouths. That one. I think this one was fine. I think this solved, solved what it needed to do. It's small, so I probably don't need to play it right now, but the, the move is fine, just not the right time. Which is a different uh, story altogether. Yeah. This was just a, we we all know that was a disaster. Now it was a tiger's mouth, which in fact did get me an Atari. Now it was a tiger's mouth, and as you pointed out, technically speaking, if I really want to poke, I should just poke. Well, no, sorry, that's not what you said. You wanted me to just connect there, right? Because one way or the other, I'm going to poke into his territory, and I can actually... No, it doesn't work because of that. I can, in theory, try to cause havoc, but it doesn't really work here. But there's, there's Aji left for me there, so I can actually take Sente and leave, and it's his problem to fix later.
I'm not gonna count those. It was just defending. I think everything, anything after this point was kind of just end game, so I'm not gonna count it as much just because the game was already pretty much decided. But yeah, Tiger's mouths are risky. I think um, I messed up a lot this game, a lot. Like my biggest mistake is definitely in this bottom left corner. If I hadn't done that, yeah. If I hadn't played this and then had the corner kind of dissolve, I would have had a lot more points over here, and this wouldn't have come as under as much attack because I ended up losing this. Um, so we wouldn't have got any points down here, and the game would have been a lot closer prior to me killing groups that didn't deserve to die. So this is a huge thing. This is, like, one of the biggest mistakes this game. Um, the other one was to not push this group down. This is the right move. This is fine. This is the bad move. This is the, big, the biggest singular play that could probably cost me. Because I can just, just not let it happen, right? And, like, this doesn't work for him. Oops. Because he's got his own problems, and yeah, he can... Oops. He could try to cut or something, but I, I don't think it really works here. So I would probably just connect this, so this is safe independently. And then I'll just run it out. I'll actually, I'll probably just do it this way. And like, yeah, if he wants to cause a little havoc, that's, I'm actually almost done over here. I'll just do something else. Like, I'm not even sure. The cut doesn't look that good. Um, so I, I honestly don't know what he'd do. And he'd still be struggling for life, and he'd get it, but... And he'd probably get it if he was good enough to get uh, life, but it's not it's not a problem. It's probably the biggest the biggest mistake. Followed by some of the plays down here, which cost me a lot. Well, it is what it is. This is a very weird game to go. It was basically just with Azzy, obviously. It is almost time for me to get off, and I want to ponder this game more, like, by myself. Because I definitely shouldn't have been that close to losing to Azzy. Not that, not that I don't respect Azzy as a player, but he's new enough that I shouldn't have made a lot of these errors. Yeah, if I just if I just kept him surrounded, if you look at the results of the game, he'd be up. Well, that's not fair. Before he lost the group, otherwise it's not fair. He would have had this territory anyway because this should live. I would have been surrounding him. Uh, none of this would have been here at all. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll this this should be mine. I'll just call it in to be mine. Whatever. This should all be mine, in theory. Yeah, he'll live there, whatever. I never would have gotten into a fight here, which actually shouldn't have turned out this way, because he should have kept it. So there's actually like a good third of the board, almost, that really shouldn't have gone the way it went, solely off of this play over here. And over here, if I had played correctly, he would never have gotten any of these points, because I would be poking out this way. Um, actually, if I played this corner correctly in general, and had that group, he actually could have put pressure on this more. So even with the mistake I made, it would have been better. That was my real problem. Is I set myself up in the early game, screwed myself in the mid game, and then I had to rely on cheap tricks and strategies to win, basically. But, you know, it is what it is. Just sometimes you have to accept that you uh, deserved to lose. Because I did deserve to lose. Props to Azzy, by the way. I'm sure he's not even still in chat right now, but... He is. Props to you, Azzy. Because you deserve to win, so even though I didn't agree on this, you deserve to win. So even though you didn't, it's not it's not fair of me to withhold withhold your squiggles. So I'll be a, I'll be a, I'll be a good sport. Hold on, I have another thing. There you go, Ash guy. I gave you a thousand squiggles too. I'm gonna be getting off so there's not a lot of uses for them at the second, but these are the kinds of things you can do with squiggles. Yo, yo, Azzy, you're gonna get there, man. If you start practicing go, like you're gonna you're gonna make me better and you're gonna make yourself better. It's gonna be great, dude. You can be my permanent go rival. Especially since you have all that non-Dota uh, non time. Dota's, Dota's a real life sucker, I'll tell you that. Now, is there anybody else playing Go right now? Nope. So instead... Chat, you guys don't need to tell me everything. Uh, I know there might be I 
hate I hate when Twitch isn't muted when I start it, even though it was muted when I was there last. Because it's like I am 100% remember muting it. All right, we're gonna raid Biotic Nova because they're playing Binding of Isaac, game I, I personally love a lot. Uh, and because there's nobody else playing Go right now, so it is what it is. Um, shut up, Azzy. Uh, so I appreciate you guys for watching and criticizing me heavily when I lost that when I should have lost that last game to Azzy. Um, I'm still disappointed in myself. I have to practice. I'm gonna have to really get that Go, that Go going. But I'll be back on Sunday probably with. Maybe more Siege if I have enough people. If not, I might just play straight go. I'm not really sure. I haven't decided. I'll, you know, post suggestions in the Discord. We'll figure it out. I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.